Uh, Ryan Alexander, your two minutes begins now. Excellent. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I guess you could say I'm something of a glutton for punishment, but uh, you know, I thought I'd give it another shot. So during my last interview, uh, Kathleen Hatfield mentioned that it sounded like I had some unfinished business, and as it turns out, I do. Um, I guess top of the list would be uh, some of our capital improvements and maintenance items that we just seem to be kicking down the road, although for at least the last eight or 10 years. Uh, I think that we should try to focus on those somewhat. Uh, they include, but not limited to, uh, railings around the upstairs, some dredging, of course, a new crane, dock extensions possibly, a floating dock, and our pedestrian bait and gate that we have out by the, the front gate, it's in place. We just need to get that up and working. Uh, a second thing that I, I think we should get going, I need to get going a little faster because I'm down to 59 seconds, is that, uh, you know, in our budgeting, we need to get a closer view to see that we're getting a more equitable distribution of the funds. Uh, and hopefully, and we've always been trying to do this, so I know we'll continue doing this, try to get our programs closer to self-sufficiency. Um, just because we have a big program doesn't mean it's the best program. Uh, I'd like to see us put more focus on adult sailing, uh, either cruising or racing, uh, get more emphasis on sailing instruction, uh, community development. We need to reach out to the districts and see if the city can provide transportation to and from the club for some of our residents. Uh, work toward getting our new members and existing members their sailing goals realized. Uh, try to get our existing boat owners more involved in getting members out on the water that don't have boats or just want to sail with other people. Uh, and also, I think we should try to have more community events, either barbecues or water slides or full moon sailing or maybe more evening sails using our club boats just to get people on the water because that's what our club is about, you know, getting people on boats on the water. Uh, just, you know, get us more focused on some of these items. Now, I've already been through this cycle once, and, you know, I don't know that I really accomplished anything while I was there, so hopefully I can do better the second time around, but uh, it's just some of the ideas I have. I'm certain there's more. Everyone's got their own, but that's what I'm thinking we should uh, try to work on. Okay, next up is Dr. Jennifer Cheney. I'm happy to run again to be uh, uh, considered for the board of directors. Um, the sailing club is uh, something I've been involved with for a long, long time. I started sailing out of the club uh, right after Hurricane Andrew. I used to sail my friend's 27 foot Catalina and moorings opened up at that time and started sailing out of the club at that time. Um, so, and I've had my own boat here. We have a 30 foot hunter uh, that we keep at the sailing club for the last 11 years. Um, we've ha our kids have been involved. They've done the um, kid programs. Uh, also, one of our sons has done the keelboat class with uh, Richard Chrysler. Um, I've done a lot of uh, racing, whether it was offshore, like the Miami Cuba race. Um, I've been uh, sailing offshore in a transatlantic, going to Bermuda. Um, so, and I've captained um, bear boats in the British Virgin Islands, like a 44 foot catamaran. So I've sailed big boats, smaller boats. We have a 14 foot boat uh, in our driveway too. So a lot of boats we have. And uh, I'm very invested in the club. I've been on many of the committees, the membership committee for a year, I guess, a property committee for a number of years. Um, I've been on the board of directors and I've been serving as your fleet surgeon. I think I have something particular to offer as your fleet surgeon in this upcoming uh, difficult time. Um, continuing on in the board of directors, I think I can offer kind of a unique perspective that maybe other folks aren't as tuned in with uh, since I do work in emergency medicine on the front lines. So I think that that may help us as well. So um, that's what I really wanted to tell you. Been sailing a long, long time um, offshore, uh, done some racing, and um, mostly I'm a cruiser. And uh, lots of the club rendezvous, whether we've gone to the Bahamas, Key West, and so forth. Um, but mostly really involved in the club and wanting to make sure that we do well and that we continue to grow uh, and achieve and to keep our members safe and healthy in this upcoming kind of challenging times. So. Anyway, I appreciate your considering me. Next up, Henry Gomez. 
Hello, everybody. I'm actually talking to you from my boat right now because I'm putting in a new bilge pump. And with all this rain we've been having, it's kind of a necessity. So um, I apologize if there's any background noise. And I also apologize for this mop of pandemic not cut hair. Um, I'm, I'm relatively new blood to the club. I, I joined in January of 2017. I've been a mooring tenant since uh, August of 2016. I have 12 year old twins that have both gone to summer camps uh, here at the club. My daughter participates in after school sailing um, here at the club. I'm currently on the mooring committee um, and I'm humbled actually and honored to be running against people like past Commodore uh, Alexander and, and Dr. Cheney. Um, and so uh, my expectations are, are not high that I'll get elected to this board position and that's fine because I think we have a fine crop of, of candidates. My platform for running is the same as last time, which is continued good stewardship of the club. I've, I fell in love with sailing and at the same time, I fell in love with this club. I really enjoy um, the people. I think really down to earth people, um, the staff at the restaurant and you know, just hanging out up there, talking about sailing, watching sports, um, being out on the boat, um, all things that I enjoy. And so my pledge would be to uh, continued good stewardship. I'm, my profession is advertising. I've been in the industry for 24 years and I'm a senior executive at a agency in Coral Gables. And that's a little bit more about me. I have also two stepchildren that are older college age stepchildren. And uh, thank you and I appreciate your vote. Okay, next up is Tom Santoro. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you everyone for your interest in attending this, uh, the 55 of you who are here. Uh, I hope that uh, those who are not here will, will view this uh, presentation uh, and also that they will have access to the one pagers that I think we have all submitted uh, for your consideration. Uh, I'm a, a member of the club since uh, 2009. I've been a resident of Coconut Grove for 23 years. Uh, I'm the non-boat uh, member of this group so far, although I do hold uh, uh, basic keel boat, basic cruising, basic power boating, and bare boat cruising uh, certifications, all of which uh, were obtained either at Castle Harbor or at the club. My uh, uh, participation at the club has been varied. I participated in work weekends. I was on the bylaws committee. Uh, I've uh, done some projects for the uh, flag officers uh, this past year, and uh, some may know me as uh, one of the guitarists in the uh, pickup band, something which I, uh, I've i served on a number of nonprofit boards, including the Coconut Grove Chamber of Commerce and, uh, and some others. I presently am a director of the University Credit Union and sit on the audit committee. Uh, I'm a semi-retired attorney and uh, semi-retired because like many uh, retired attorneys, I'm a mediator, which I do still do. Uh, I think is one of the skills that uh, I would bring to the board. I'm particularly interested in enhancing the membership. Uh, we will be facing some very potentially serious issues this uh, coming year. Uh, it's my hope that I could contribute towards uh, uh, helping with some of that, and I would very much appreciate uh, your vote. And last but not least, Obi Smith. All right, my name's Obi Smith, and I've been a member of the club for four years. I've raced sailboats on Biscayne Bay for over 20. I own a Flying Scott and it's parked on the strip at the club. My wish is to give back to the Coconut Grove Sailing Club by contributing my expertise in business negotiation, leases, and consulting. My approach to business is solution driven. I discover the needs of all parties and devise an appropriate solution that addresses the concerns of those in interest. My general goals are to pursue the following, a long-term lease with the city of Miami, gain an expanded footprint adjacent to our club, improve the physical plant of the club, including the possible dredging of the dock area and enhancement of the hoists at the dock. I'd like to work with the city to leverage Regatta Park by providing a stakeholder in managing the facilities, namely us. Work to find contributors to help us build the financial stability of our programs at the club. The ideal is that all programs become self-sustaining, at the very least breaking even. 
assist in building the youth program as a feeder to retain sailors who grow out of the Opti and lazy laser programs, possibly by building a competitive one design fleet to keep them sailing to the club while promoting racing on the bay. I'd like to support our one design fleets that are currently at the club. And I ask you to vote for Obi to serve on the board of directors. Thank you.